Hello friends, this video on microorganisms friend and foe part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have spoken a lot of good things about uh, the microorganisms, that is the good microorganisms, it is time to talk about the scary microorganisms as well. Those microorganisms which cause diseases, which harm us. So now we will discuss about the harmful microorganisms. So now when I talk about the harmful part, you all say that yes, we know that they make us ill and that is why our moms often tell us that wash your hands, keep yourself clean. Now as soon as I talk about the harmful microorganisms, you say that yes, I know they make us ill. They cause so many diseases in us and it is because of them that our moms keep telling us that wash your hands before you eat food, keep yourselves clean. She tries to keep the entire house clean so that they do not catch us. So we all know, kind of we know the harmful microorganisms. So now we will study about the diseases which are caused by the various microorganisms and how can we control the spread of those kind of diseases. Now before we talk about the microbes, which disease they cause, we should know what exactly is a disease. We often use the term, right, disease. Uh, he is suffering from this disease. She is suffering from a deadly disease. So what exactly is the word disease? Now if you look at the word disease, it is basically a shortened form of two words. That is disturbed ease. So when your ease, ease is nothing but comfort. So when your ease or comfort is being disturbed, that is when you say it, there is a disease. So disease is nothing but disturbed ease. It results in change in either functioning or appearance or of one or more systems of the body for worse. So there are some changes in the body of some kind. For example, when you are suffering from fever, so physically there is no change as that. So there is no change in your structure, but functionally you tend to feel weak, you feel body ache, you don't feel like doing anything. So those are the changes which take place inside your body, but nothing is visible. No such change is visible as such. And all these changes are for worse, not for better. So these changes are for worse. For example, fever or when you have a running nose, you are suffering from bad cold or headache or maybe some kind of mental disease. Maybe you are feeling stressed out, you are uh, suffering from hypertension. So there you do not have any uh, problem with your structure appearance but you are having some discomfort with your mental peace so sometimes you hurt yourself so that is another kind of problem sometimes some microorganisms party in your intestine and that's when you have stomach ache loose motion vomiting and all these kind of problems so all these are caused by microorganisms. On the other hand, there can be another type of problems like you met an accident and maybe your hand is fractured, your leg is fractured. So there also you are at a disturbed ease. Now there are various types of diseases. Now here in this section, we are going to focus only on the diseases which are caused by pathogens. Now what are pathogens? So pathogens are the disease causing microorganisms. So those microorganisms which are capable of causing a disease, they are called pathogens. So now you understand some microorganisms are friendly. So they cannot cause a disease. But some organisms have the ability to cause a disease and they are called pathogens. So we will only focus on those diseases which are caused by pathogens. Most parasites are pathogens. Now what are parasites? Parasites are those organisms which live inside the body of another organism. So basically I, I was telling you right that uh, for example one organism lives inside another organism. So the other organism which allows the first organism to live inside its body is called the host organism and the organism which lives inside host is called a parasite. So parasite is the one which lives inside the host organism. So when if we say that uh, um, bacteria are living inside our body, so in that case human beings are the host and the bacteria is a parasite. Now most of the parasites which live inside another organism, mostly they are pathogens. That is they live inside that organism and they also cause disease. 
So if you talk about human beings, there are many bacteria which can be present inside our body. So they are parasites and human beings are the host and mostly these parasites are disease causing. That is they can cause disease. Now it is not necessary that all the bacteria or all the microorganisms present inside our body will cause disease. But yes, there are chances because mostly these parasites are pathogens. Now, who can be pathogen? Pathogens can be, bacteria can be a pathogen, virus can be a pathogen, fungi, protozoa, some worms can also be pathogen. But here we are since discussing only about the microorganisms, so we will mostly discuss about these four, that is bacteria, viruses, fungi and protozoa. So pathogens can attack plants and animals as well. So it is not only the human beings who are victim of these disease causing microorganisms. Even they attack plants and other animals also. So now diseases which are caused by microbes in humans, in plants and in other animals. So we will talk about all these in three different sections. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.